Hey guys, Megan Kaplan here with Miles Johnson, who's an outside opposite hitter, actually, at Ohio State University, defending national champs. What's up, Miles? Nothing much. How's it going? Pretty good. Thanks so much for coming on with us. And obviously, as defending national champions, you guys have a little bit of a target on your back. What do you think is the most challenging thing about being the defending champs? Um, I think the most challenging thing is just going into every game, you're going to get every team's best performance. So, I mean, you got to be on pretty much every single game. Um, that's probably by far the hardest part. And we saw that last week and we went to St. Francis. So, yeah, for sure. And what do you guys do to make sure that you are on every single match? I think we just really focus on our communication. Uh, that's like the biggest thing because if, if you don't have any communication, then everyone's on the same page and then things break down quicker. And as a senior this year, are you approaching things any differently than you have in the past? I wouldn't say I'm approaching it any different. Um, I would j I'm just trying to like really focus on being in the moment and playing every game and not really looking towards the end of the year. I think that was one of the best things about last year is that we really had no expectations or anything and we just played each game and things worked out really well. So I think I'm trying to go into the, the season with that same mindset. And what member of your team do you think is the most under-recognized? Hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Um, <sighs> under-recognized. I would probably say Sunil. And why? By far. Um, he's just a really good player, and he makes some crazy plays in practice. And you're majoring in something kind of interesting, environment, economy, development, and sustainability, right? Yeah, that's correct. So what does that entail? What do you think you want to do with that degree? Um, so my focus within that long title is sustainability in business. So um, my major is primarily focusing on how businesses kind of incorporate sustainability into their operations. And for me personally, I, I want to work for um, like a lifestyle brand, preferably. My dream job would be working for Patagonia and working for their supply chain and their sustainability departments. That's what I want to do. Awesome. And yeah. before that, maybe you might consider a career overseas. Do you think you'll play pro? Yeah, I think I'm going to ride the, the volleyball thing out for as long as I can. Definitely, as you should. So that's my should. next step. <laughs> And if you were yeah. to be able to choose anywhere in the world to go play pro, where would you go? Um, I don't know. I've, I've thought about it a little lately, and I think I would really like to play, obviously, where the best volleyball is. But if it's based solely on just a country that I'd like to visit, I would like to probably play in Japan. What's the most annoying thing about being significantly taller than most people? Um... Probably the constant um, like questions in airports, especially when you're with your team, because it's like the same three questions that we always get. It's like either where, like, who are you playing? You play basketball, and then yeah, just something like that, and we get it every single time, multiple times every time we travel. So that's probably the most annoying. But I would imagine that being tall is pretty useful, not only on the volleyball court. What are the ways that being tall actually comes in handy? Um, <laughs> one way I would say is uh, you definitely have the, a good perk at concerts. You don't really have mm -hmm. to, like, you can kind of be anywhere and still get a good view. Yeah, for sure. But uh, I bet people I'm, yell at you a lot. Well, They're like, hey, man, down yeah, in front. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh, 100%. And you have to be, like, conscious of that. So you have to kind of stand in a low-key place. <laughs> well, thank you so much. That's all we've got for you. So have a great rest of the season and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Bye.